I am now here at the Castle of Good Hope in the middle of the night and yeah, we'll try and find some ghosts. Walking around the upskirts of the castle to be doing, you can like literally feel wolf. This area doesn't feel too cautious, like you know, you're not alone, somebody's watching. So at that point you kind of just pack your way the services and just acknowledge that there's something that you can't find a ready answer to and you're trying to just move on with your day. Here we are at the cell blocks, which is probably the most famous haunted area of the castle. So we took him into the prison cells. The one gentleman decided to stay a bit longer. Eventually, he rushed out and he had this recorder of him. And then he actually played it to us and he asked somebody, is anybody in here a capture on me? How? Whatever it is telling him, yes. And yeah, it's said that there are voices coming from one of these cell blocks which said, I can't remember exactly now, but I think it said help me or, or something. I... <laughs> but the poltergeist are moving around. Okay, yeah, there are, and this is how the normal ones look. It's a bit more square and small, just Imagine, it's a really small room. It's like a student's apartment. Let's just wait and see if we can hear anything. We weren't able to hear or find any evidence of ghosts. Clearly frustrated by these no findings, we decided to move on to the next location. We're now at the torture chamber, historically one of the most haunted areas in the whole castle. And yeah, we'll just wait around here and hope to hear something or find something. Just change and then just chained him up, made him hang here for a while. Literally strung them up. I am beginning to suspect that my ghost hunting abilities are not as great as I had hoped. I have, even if only for a second, humoured the idea of faking a ghost sighting. This is unforgivable. I will surely redeem myself at the next location. We're now entering the dark room. This is basically the interrogation room that they used. They went into the initial room with me. So for many years, the room was mistaken, misidentified as the dark little dungeon. <coughs> and there's something in there. And she said, yes, but I would like to tell you what type of spirit it is. And then she asked me, do you I know what a demonic spirit is? And I'm like, no. And then she explained it to me. Then she actually explained the fact that a demonic spirit is that he's done some wrong to other people, but then something was done the wrong to him. So inside the ammunition there's this one big hole in the center of the floor. Then she points out that that gentleman was thrown down that hole and he's sitting, still sitting at that hole, looking down. Still, why? His body has never been recovered. And she asked me, do I know what salt does to the body if it eats it away? So his body was never recovered. So that is why when people enter the room, then she says it becomes agitated. Did, but it was really soft. Listen closely. A spooky spectre or just the wind? You decide. <laughs> 